In this circuit here, I'm demonstrating how we can create an inverter just using a single transistor. Here we're using the BC547B, uh, it's an NPN transistor, and it's a high gain transistor, so it has a HFE of between 250 and 400, so it's quite a high gain. In this particular circuit, we're using it to um, um, behave like an inverter, and to do this, first of all, we have our voltage regulator, which is taking our 9 volt battery input and providing our input and providing us with two rails at the top. The top rail is the plus 5 volt rail and the lower rail is our ground rail. Um, here's our transistor here and um, uh, the pins are ordered from the left to right. We have the emitter followed by the base followed by the collector. In our circuit here the emitter is connected through this black wire to ground uh, and the base is connected through this 100 ohm resistor to this orange wire that we're using as our switch for our circuit. So the orange wire at the moment is connected to ground so we have an input of zero. Um, then we have on the, on the collector side we have a resistor that connects the high rail through this resistor to the, to the, to the collector, to the collector pin of the transistor and also through this sort of load resistor through the LED to ground. And that gives us, a, 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 that gives us our, our load that we're going to use as our output. So if you like, the switch wire here is the input to the circuit where we're going to input a 0 or 1. And the output is going to give us our value of 0 or 1 depending on how we, how we choose it. So at the moment, the switch wire is connected to the ground rail. This means that we've got an input of 0. At the moment, the transistor is in cutoff which means that the, the, um, the transistor behaves across the uh, collector emitter behaves just like a very very large resistor. This forces the current to flow through the 100 ohm resistor from the high rail through this 100 ohm resistor. It gets to the collector of the um, transistor where the collector emitter is off so therefore the current is forced to flow this up through this other 100 ohm resistor through this LED to ground. So in that case, the LED lights. So we can say that if we have an input of 0, we have an output of 1. When we move the switch wire from ground to plus 5 volts, you see that the LED goes off. So we can say that for an input of 1, we have an output of 0. In this particular case here, our transistor is in saturation. This means that the current flows freely between the collector and the emitter. So what happens here is that the current flows through this 100 ohm resistor from uh, from our 5 volt supply through to the collector pin of the transistor. But since the transistor is in saturation, the current flows freely from the, from the collector to the emitter, so it, it, it acts like a short circuit, if you like, and doesn't flow through this resistor uh, through the LED to ground. So we've given an alternative path from the collector to the emitter and therefore to ground. So in this case here, um, because the current flows through the transistor and not, is not forced through the LED, we get an output of zero. So for an input of one, we get an output of zero. And again, for an input of zero, we get an output of one. An input of one, we get an output of zero. So this behaves exactly like you would expect an inverter to behave.